these trees drop a bit. After 14 hours and two time zone changes on the train from Kazan, we arrive in the bustling metropolis of Yekaterinburg. We made it. I think we're getting picked up here pretty soon. We got all of our gear. We're off the train. Just in time as it's about to depart again. Let's keep moving. Yekaterinburg is the fourth largest city in Russia, one of the most important economic centers in the country, and nicknamed the window to Asia, as it straddles the continents of Europe and Asia. This is where we cross into the Asian side of Russia, but we have no plans to stay in the city. Hello, hello! What's up, guys? Hello, Gareth. Andrei. Andrei. Alexander. Alexander. Hello, Inna. 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 Gareth. Hi, we have touched down in Yekaterinburg. We just met up with the crew. Look at these off-road vehicles. This is going to be awesome. Let's go. Oh man, the phone is crashed, the iPad is crashed, the front window here also crashed. We're ready to go. On this leg of the journey, our local connect is a team of professional off-road drivers. And our mission is to venture deep into the Ural Mountains. <laughs> Alright, there are five cars of the off-road convoy that we're heading into the woods with. This is going to be our crew for the next 48 hours. We're heading up to go camping. I have no idea what to expect. We just arrived in the train this morning, drove about two hours, and now we're up here heading into the white birches, into the forest, for some off-road and wooded adventures. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. What on. Uh, this just in. This, this guy just told me that uh, we cannot uh, go further yeah. until we will drink uh, 50 grams vodka. So it <laughs> is uh, an obligation. To, obligation, okay. It is an obligation to pass uh, to this area. Gotta do as the locals do, right? <laughs> what do we got? Cognac? Jägermeister. Jägermeister, okay. <laughs> and cognac? Whoa. Zastarovia. <laughs> Oh yeah, tastes like off-road. We're ready. <laughs> Snack time? Yeah. <laughs> Cognac break. Cognac break. <laughs> One interesting snack is the raw chicken carpaccio. It's smoked. We'll see. Uh, why not? Oh, it's good. Tastes a little bit like raw chicken and a little bit like a nice smoked meat. We'll see if Salmonella visits. The Ural is our long and narrow mountain range, cutting through Russia from north to south, and they mark the western edge of Siberia. Just out here exploring the wilderness in the Ural Mountains. We are in Azogara, which is one mountain in Ural Mountains. Mm. Nice. We got a present at the top. Ribina. Yagoda Ribina. Kisla. Thank you. Whoa. Tastes good? Those are tart. Woo. We are at the top of our little trek. We went from train to highway to off road. And now we are here at the top of the mountain after a 500 meter little bit of a hike to get to the top of this ridge. Holy. We're just at the edge of Siberia and the rock formations and the absolute green, beautiful countryside. Just enjoy all of this. All right, now we're picking some mushrooms for dinner and Mike's gonna give us a lesson on what's gonna be edible and what's not edible. And then we're gonna get confirmation, a Russian confirmation to make sure the Canadian forests and the Russian forests add up and 
both coincide with what mushrooms are going to be good for dinner and what's going to give us explosive diarrhea. There's a couple families of mushrooms, but this family is called boletes, and all boletes have pores underneath, not gills. Think about gills of a fish. You've seen gills on a mushroom before, all these rays that go up from the center. This doesn't have that, right? It's shaped like a, like a UFO, like a hamburger patty. And a general rule, not a 100% rule, but if they have pores like this, you can eat them. Again, don't kill yourself. But if you're lost in the woods and you have nothing else and you find something like this, you can probably eat them. For example, For example uh, Sergei oh, has one with gills. <laughs> this is a mushroom with gills. So that's a no-go. This is, this, is, this is, you have to know your stuff. This is an advanced mushroom. The other one, boletes are like beginner. But this one, well, edible or not edible? No, right? No, no, no. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ruben, how do you cook these? Uh, with the omelette, of course, always. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 Woo! Punch it, punch it, punch it! Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Professional! Yeah! Looks like camp. Ooh. We have officially made it. Yeah. Made it to camp with only one casualty. <laughs> there we are, in the middle of the woods. Just us. <laughs> oh man. Cognac, <laughs> yes. Sardina? Sardina. Sardina. Uh, fish liver. Fish liver? Okay. It's funny. We're a long way from home, in a remote territory with perfect strangers who speak a foreign language and have completely unique perspectives. And yet, this moment feels all too familiar and even comfortable. It's yours. Have you done this? <laughs> Stories start rolling in as the grill gets fired up. Zastroya. Cognac is flowing. For those that say that Russia is only vodka, well, it's late, it's dark out, we got two more trucks pulling up right now. <laughs> we welcome new friends in the dark and enjoy, honestly, what is one of the most delicious meals I'll have in Russia. Steel bread. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> King of meats. <laughs> And just like anywhere else, when the drinks start flowing, anything is possible. <laughs> bow, bow. Okay. 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 Ruben's gotta shoot this okay. morning. Yeah, oh, it's my first oh, time ever. Uh, ready for shooting? No, no, no. Predachranitel. Predachranitel. Chick. Potom. Chick, chick. Okay. Let's go. Chick, chick. chick. Reska. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Two times bow, bow. Hey! Sure. Sure. Hey, oh. Ruben, yes! <laughs> My first Don't time ever! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How do you feel right now? How do you feel? They <laughs> 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 Oh! oh. <laughs> now he's got the big gun. Oh, oh, yeah. oh shit! Oh my god! My ears! Nice. Okay. Get in there! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing right now? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Ready? What are three, two, one. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, how do you feel? They put them out What does it mean to put them out That's it. I'm putting the camera away now. Probably We're just going to eat. We're going to drink. It's a full on party over here. These are the moments that you want to have and that you hope for when you're when you're traveling around the world is to like connect with people like this and eat food with your hands made from a fire in the middle of nowhere. So signing off here. This is day one on the on the outskirts of Siberia. from 
high above camp. We just took a quick little hike, a sprint up to this viewpoint. It's such a beautiful way to start the day. We are in the middle of the forest. There is nothing but trees around us. Oh. Our fearless leader Yarrow continues to surprise us with new experiences and today's no different. After a morning hike, we pack up camp and make our way through the woods into a pagan community for lunch. We are right at the, the cusp of the community right now and we're walking in to spend the day with them. And this looks very interesting to say the least. There's TP set up, there's guys walking around without their shirts on, there's logs, there's log cabins, there's a few trucks and tarps. It's right on the side of the lake, looks like a beautiful camping location, but well, let's see how they live. Let's go inside. We get a brief introduction to their way of life over a hearty bowl of soup, and then take a scenic cruise on a homemade yacht. Let's see Time for a boat ride. I don't know how it's gonna fit all of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven people on the homemade uh, yacht here. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a random, thought-provoking afternoon with a group of people I probably never would have came across in any other scenario. But in the midst of trying to make sense of it all, it's time to press on. Alright, we have just arrived at our dinner location and also where we'll be staying. We're staying in one of these cabins, we're not sure which one yet, but after a full day off-road driving, visiting the, the commune, we'll call it, the, the pagan uh, community that we saw and went out in the boat and got to see how they do some of their their daily life and routines. Oh, got some friends coming to say hi. What's up guys? You coming in hot? You coming to say hi? What's up buddy? How you doing? You came right up, huh? How you doing bud? Alright, you cruising out? Alright, we'll see you guys later. Just came in the door. Here's a setup. Ping pong table. Never would have expected that. The kitchen. Oh, nice. Here is the living room. Beautiful new wood everywhere. Rooms. Are we in here? No. Look at these. Look at this. We got king size bed. Oh, here we go. For the big bed. For the big bed. Come on. Two birds. Oh! <laughs> That's me. Oh. With our gear tucked away in the cozy cabin, we head out for tonight's festivities. At the end of the road, overlooking this small rural village, is a massive compound. And at its center, a beautiful wooden mansion. This is home to a good friend of the off-road team and where we're invited for dinner. drink uh, until the bottom by one okay <laughs> or, uh, it's uh, more pork fat and uh, you will be more more powerful <laughs> I can't say no to you I can't I can't say no to the host Spasiva <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, it's time to go in the sauna, which is right around the corner. Stars are out tonight. Woo! Wow. Banya. Banya. Oh. 
Так, вот здесь потом будем париться, пока не садимся. There it is. Специально любим. It's not Ruben, that's Garrett. That's Ruben. It feels like hell. I love your mask, by the way. We are rocking out these beautiful felt hats to apparently keep our skulls from melting. Something like that. It's 80 degrees Celsius. All right, let me cut in and add some better context to these visuals and emotions. We sit together in this small sauna, or banya, as the temperature rises with each additional pour of water over the stove. Uh -huh. And the temperature increases. We go in and out a few times to control the heat and rehydrate. So tell me about this, this drink again. It's, it's like malt, right? It's like this is the traditional drink that you have when you're in sauna. It's more, it's like the Russian Gatorade. It's got more minerals than water, but less alcohol than beer. Right in the middle. This is all fine and good, but the real Banya experience hasn't even started yet. I need to go there right now. We have to do Gareth now, right? We're gonna go in there. Mike just did it. It's my turn. We're gonna go full on with the traditional bathing rituals. The traditional ritual begins by laying on a bed of hay. Holy shit. The hay. The hay's hot. It's reflecting the heat. Travel deeper. Travel deeper. A cold wet towel is placed over the head. Oh, I need that. And then one designated person proceeds to hit, I, I mean, massage the entire body with dried branches and leaves. The branches are dunked first in very hot water, and the therapeutic process continues on both sides. Oh, this? Yes. You were crazy? <laughs> oh! Shut up! <laughs> I love you guys! Oh, that feels good. And when it's all over, I've never felt more alive. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in this man! We're gonna get a hug! Yeah. <laughs> I can't feel my face. <laughs> the legs, man! Talk to me. It's the legs, right? The back is okay! It feels like someone's taking fire sticks and just whipping you on the back with them. <laughs> but once you get to the legs, you can feel your legs hair also burning. <laughs> that was the most intense thing I've ever been a part of. And I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, Smells like sulfur in here. <laughs> Mike and I just got initiated into the gang. <laughs> We're gonna go down to the lake now. So there's this thing called a Russian walrus and a, wash a Russian wal walrus, go I can't even speak. I can't even see straight right now. They go swim in the lake. So we're gonna join the was the Russian walrus <laughs> and take a jump in the lake. Wow. It's normal in Russia. Guys, you yeah. need to uh, swim in Russia, uh, take out your clothes. Okay. <laughs> and there they go. Oh my god. <laughs> Too good, right? Milky Way up top, golden crescent moon, oh, five naked dude, dudes. So <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> no, naked backflip? No way. Yeah. Oh, this is unreal. It's Russia, my friend. Let me be very clear. This isn't Russia. N not completely. Everything you've seen in this video, the alcohol, guns, banya, and backwoods, they are only one very small aspect of Russian culture. I understand, these are often the loudest stereotypes of this massive country, but my goal in this video was to show you the real people behind the cliches. We had an amazing 48 hours with this crew, doing the same things I do back home camping with friends. But to put all Russian people and culture into this weekend would be completely wrong, and hopefully the variety of videos I make for this series will show you new perspectives. Because that is ultimately the point of this channel to open your mind to foreign places and travel deeper. Thank you guys. Thank oh. you. You're welcome guys. Wow. Fucking <laughs> shit. I feel him. Oh boy. It's like I'm getting hit with little heaters. It's like a hot car wash, right? Oh man. Ow. <laughs> oh <f> <laughs> 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 the feet of the worst man. There you go. Ah. There'll be a real Russian man in no time. Oh, I feel the transition. A real Russian, real Russian bear. They're they're burning off the of me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs>
I almost didn't make it. I feel like I don't. I feel like I don't even know who I am right now. There was the man that went in and the man that's that's here now, and I, they're two. They're two completely different people. I've never been that hot in my entire life. I'm out of breath. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even move my body. I'm completely out of breath right now. Guys. We need to uh, um, take a cold water after two, maybe three times after the bath. Oh, okay. oh not just one. Not after one time. Oh, so we're. <laughs>